Thanks to Clarison's revolutionary Interact feature, anyone can convert emails into actions, transforming unstructured communication into a centralized hub of actions. Interact allows you to create and update items, like cases, projects, and discussions, directly from your smartphone or email client. In addition to using Clarison's out-of-the-box rules, administrators can use the Interact feature to build new rules and configurations within Clarison. This tutorial is for admin users and will cover different aspects of setting up your domain and building your own mailboxes and rules to support your organization's specific flows. To access the Interact functionality, go into Settings and select the Interact tab. The first step is to set your domain name for your organization. By default, the domain is set to your organization's name, but you can change it if you'd like. Interact is built as a set of mailboxes, each with its own email address. Each such mailbox houses a set of rules. Interact rules are the same as workflow rules, except that they are triggered by an email sent to their mailbox. When you access Interact, you'll see that Clarison already created some useful mailboxes for you. These include email to case mailboxes that allow your customers to open support tickets and send requests, as well as rules to aid in conversations. For instance, there is a mailbox that allows your team to reply to discussion threads and create new discussions on the fly. In addition to these rules, you can create your own mailboxes and rules. Let's look at a custom mailbox already created on this account. The mailbox name, in this case new task, is actually the email address, which is completed by adding the domain determined by your organization. Once the mailbox has been created, you can create a set of rules below. The order of the rules determines which rule will run first. Once an email has been processed by a rule, the other rules will not run for the given email, meaning simpler rules should be at the bottom of the list, while more complex rules that have evaluation criteria or require specific variables should be higher up. Let's look at one of the rules for this mailbox. In this case, a rule for adding a new to-do list item. The user input box allows you to set variables for your rules and offers a formula helper to assist you in defining them. We'll skip this section for now since there's no data. The evaluation criteria defines the conditions that will trigger the interact rule. In this case, the new to-do item will be created only if the email subject starts with to-do. The action list includes creating a new item of type task, where the task name is the email subject and the task description is derived from the email body. To access these fields, simply click on the formula options and view the email fields from the variable tab. The next action ensures that all attachments are saved and linked to the newly created task, where attached to is set to new object 1, the newly created task from the new item action. The final step is to save the triggering email onto the new task. The rule also includes a success email. The success email is sent to your users whenever the rule has been successfully completed and can include a link to the newly created task or other such information. To inform users about mailboxes and rules, you can send them an email directly from the mailbox. The email includes the description for each rule as well as the mailbox's vCard. The vCard is essentially the contact card for the mailbox. Now you can send an email to newtask at acmeproduct.clarisonmail.com and it will create a new to-do item with all of the email attachments and a link to the original email. In addition to general mailboxes like the one we just saw, Interact includes item-specific mailboxes. In Clarison, work items, cases, discussions, and groups all have mailboxes to which users can send messages to initiate actions. For example, this out-of-the-box rule under discussion groups allows group members to send an email to begin a new discussion topic. Users can get a group's email address by clicking on the Send vCard button or by viewing the alias field. For work items and cases, the default mailbox is the object system ID but you can set an alias for any Interact-supported object. Now let's review the email to case mailboxes. These mailboxes can be used by your customers, suppliers, or organization members to create new requests and support tickets directly from their email client or through a self-hosted HTML form. Each out-of-the-box mailbox has two rules. One is specific 
and the other is quick. The specific rule creates a case using the title taken from the subject variable, the description is taken from the description variable, and the severity level is taken from the importance variable. The rule then enters the email address and username, if applicable, into the reported by field. Additionally, the rule uses a conditional action to search for a customer associated with the email address. If a match is found, the customer will be linked to the newly created issue. Any attachments, including the email itself, will also be linked to the newly created case. The quick rule is similar to the specific rule. However, it doesn't require any variables from the sender. It simply takes the case title from the subject and uses the email body as the case description. To edit any of these built-in rules, simply create a copy of the rule and then make any changes you like. Please note that all rule emails check for a user license and have certain limitations. Email to case rules are an exception. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.